So a little bit ago, I recorded myself playing a little bit of Dragon Quest Treasures for the first 30 minutes or so, and everything was fine. The gameplay footage came out great. The problem is, I didn't mix the audio properly, and I had to redo the entire video. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Here's the video. Gotta love that logo from time to time, don't you? So, <laughs> like I said in the intro, I am an idiot, and I'm fixing my problem. But now, um, Dragon Quest, I feel like I jumped on the bandwagon a little late. The only one I've ever actually played was Dragon Quest XI, and then I played Dragon Quest XI S, which I need to go back and beat. But of course, this is actually, I don't think this is a canon side story, but it's still something I've always wanted to actually check out. This is, like I said, Dragon Quest Treasures. It's supposed to take place, like I said, I literally just said it, it might not be canon exactly. I'm, like I said, I'm an idiot. But yeah, the characters that we're going to be actually playing as is one of the main characters from the main story and their sister. Let's jump into it, shall we? Ah, uh, the Yggdrasil tree. Eric? Uh -huh. <sighs> Eric, are you awake? <laughs> Come on, let's sneak out again. I want to find some treasure. They're going to be partying all night. They won't even know we've snuck off. <laughs> oh, nice flip. Up on the deck. And don't give the game away. Got it? Yeah. So yeah, like I said, this is actually one of the main characters from Dragon Quest XI. Meet Eric. Now, when you first meet him, if you've ever played the game, he's actually a thief character. He's really good with sharp objects like knives, boomerangs, and even swords. I... yeah. This is the world map. Eric imagines all these exciting places there to discover. I wanted to check this out. If it isn't young Eric, our very own little ma magpie. How long's it been since we took you and May in on board? Must be a fair old while already. Still, I bet you'd be glad we, th we did though, huh? A steady job on a Viking longship. You must be the luckiest pair of orphans in the world. Hey! What was that? You're going to find a treasure that'll make you rich enough to get off this ship. <laughs> Fat chance of that. Tell me, how much treasure have you found so far, eh? Plenty. <laughs> Liar. I really like you couldn't find the treasure on a map mark with a big fat X. As you can see. Anyway, as you can see, we're having a feast here tonight, and we don't want some scruffy younglings spoiling the mood. So back to your room and get some sleep, because we certainly won't be. <laughs> uh, we must have found some way, to other, some other way to get to the upper deck. Better try searching for another route. Convenient. That's what I caught them—a funny little cat and pig with wings. Thought they were monsters at first, but they were tame enough. Must be rare, and you know what that means. <laughs> I'll drink to that. We're gonna be rich! So, where are they now then? Locked up somewhere safe, I hope. Oh, don't worry about that. They're in a cage hanging from the mast. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> you took your time. I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Just kidding. You know I can't wait to find treasure on my own, on our own. Those Vikings would never make fun of us again. And maybe tonight's the night. Just imagine the look on their groom, their groomless faces if we brought back something really cool. Hold on. No one saw you sneaking up here, right? Of course not. Nice. Nice. Then I guess we're all set. Let's get going. The boat's all ready. Maybe we can check one of those little islands again. Huh? Hmm? What was that? Oh. Those must be those strange creatures I heard the Vikings talking about. Poor things. can't just leave them locked up like that. Come on, let's set them free. Hmm. Not gonna be able to climb up there. But I bet we can knock the cage down with these. Ten pebbles! It's not like there's any, like... I mean, there is. You have to aim, but it just doesn't feel right. It's all right. Aww. Imagine being cooped up like that, left dangling from the mast. It's just horrible. They really are unusual, though. I've never seen anything like them before. Oh, no. Hey! Hey, cut that out. Haven't you have noticed you're free now? Wow. Teleporting demon cat! Teleporting demon cat! Even Eric Lake. I get it. They want us to follow them. Maybe they're going to reward us by showing us where all the good treasure's hidden. <laughs> well, there's no harm in dreaming, right? After all, anything's possible. Let's go. Houdini out right quick. Stranger! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Run! You little, you for the gross, you get the hands on you. That was a close one. Now let the adventure begin. There's trash out there. I just know there is. You know we're not getting back on that boat, right? <laughs> Look how the cat's like, it's this way. You know, it'd be really funny if the cat gave off the vibe. Like, yeah, I was going over the it's the right way the entire time. Um, I just let you think that you were going the wrong way. Yeah. When was there an island around here? All right. Eric, Eric over here. 
Like I said, I didn't think that this was going to be like a big budget game, kind of like the other Dragon Quest games, but usually even the side content is actually really entertaining. So I'm not complaining at all. Seriously? Dead end? Seriously? There must be some way to open this door. Look! It's open! I guess it works if we're one of us is standing in the right place. Oh. I get it. Eric, stand on the switch and I'll go see what's on the other side. It's my turn now. Tag out! So, since we're playing as both the twins, I, I want to call them twins because all intents and purposes they look around the same age. Um, since we're playing as both of them, I think from time to time I'm going to have to switch between the two of them for story reasons. And it makes perfect sense. It, eh. But there was another thing that I found hilarious about this. When you switch to the other sibling, the other sibling won't talk. Then again, what protagonist does in Dragon Quest? Over there! Two daggers. I smell treasure. I bet those are worth a lot worth a fortune. Huh. The cat and the pig must have known about this place. I wonder what the deal is with them. Oh. Um, Let's worry about that later. First things first, let's go get those daggers. <laughs> those two of them. So, I think that one each. Come on. Look at him go! <laughs> Bear back. Ow, ow, ow. Didn't expect that. But we got them. We got them all right. Treasure. <laughs> yeah, David, those are some beautiful what? daggers. <gasps> what? What? Now? So it's really you. About huh? time too. <gasps> it can speak. Of course I can. You two just couldn't understand me before. That's the power of the daggers. Oh no, Sundry Cat. That's all I need. Hmm? Right. I've decided. I'll be taking the girl. Hey! I thought we agreed. No magazines. <laughs> Fine, I was going to choose the boy all along anyway. Well, then, Again, Sunday Cat, guys? what's going on? They're a bit on the young side, aren't they? You really think this is them, the legendary treasure hunters? Well, there's only one way to find out. What is this all about? Are you ready? Are you steady? Go! What is that? Sorry, wormholes have usually always been a bad, and I do mean bad idea from a lot of the stuff I've seen growing up. She's a yeah. And so the adventure truly begins. <sighs> She's like, what the heck? Hey, wait a minute. A slime and a drecky? Huh. At least I don't think those are called dreckies.
Oh, look at the little monsters. Funny thing about it is, slimes are usually not that dangerous. Well, some of them are, but then a lot of them are docile because they don't want any trouble. They'll even talk to you, although they sound like slurping noises when they talk like... <laughs> or, I'm Ogui! Stuff like that. Wait, camera. <laughs> anyway. The dagger may have found in the ruins stuck in the floor. It's firmly in the soil. It somehow... It seems somehow... To have traveled through the portal with her. Pull the digger out the ground? Pull the dagger out the ground. I felt like I said digger. Like I said, that's a very beautiful blade. But to be fair, I have a thing for sharp objects, so I might be cri Anyway, me acquires the dragon dagger! Nah, I'm not gonna make a joke like that. Curious power seems to swell inside her. Nowhere. So now, where could Eric have got to? Better get out of here and start looking for him. Aww. Another way out, but here. Game, the gate is firmly padlocked shut. Why can't I talk properly? Blah. There must be some way to get it open. Wow. This pink slime appears to be in a spot of a bother. Seriously, why does it sound like they're slurping? She seems to be looking ar around agitatedly. It's almost as though she's looking for something. Okay, stop that. You're making me uncomfortable. Does she have lost something and wants me to help find it? No. Uh -uh. Uzabella, the cute slime, joins the party. <laughs> Uzabella. This is one of those things I was talking about. <laughs> She's a oh, wait a minute. <gasps> Amazing. Mia saw where Uzabella's lost property is uh, is located. It seems she has a vision showing her th something that Isabella has seen. Could this have something to do with the dagger? Use the vision Mia just had to find Isabella's lost item. Okay. Somewhere around here. Thought it was that one right there, but she would have started flipping out over there. Here we go. Now this is one of those you have to hold it while she digs. No. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Mia found Isabella's treasured item. Stop that! You're making me uncomfortable. Isabella is absolutely delighted. And it looks like she might help Mia get out of... By way of thanks. Hand over the padlock. Head over to the padlock. Cool. Aww. So you got a key for this or something? Or... Or just bum rush the door, that works too. She smashed the gate open. This is seriously shady. Admiral Mogsworth? Mogsworth. Mogsworth. Admiral Mogsworth is not going to be happy. 
I should definitely do something about that. We have come here in search of treasure. Bear right back. We've come here in search of treasure, and we're not rest. And we'll not rest until every last bit of it belongs to us. When we are done with this place, not a single shiny scrap will be left unpillaged. Not a lick of loot unplundered. Better. And who are we, you ask? Why? The most feared pirates of them all. Silverbones, thunderous plunderers. Say that six times fast. Thunderous plunderers, thunderous plunderers, thunderous plunderers. And I am none other than the Supreme Swashbuckler, the Peerless Privateer, Admiral Mogsworth. Bro, put your tongue back in your- Yeah, why'd he get a Smash Bros intro? Hold on. Welcome to our crew. But I've forgotten that you've only just awoken. I'll warrant you haven't gotten the foggiest idea what's going on. Well, let me fill you in on some details. We changed, we chanced upon you here on the Paragon. On the Petronagon. You know what, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. My dyslexia is already killing me as it is, deep in the slumber in the middle of the woods. I've never been one to ignore a damsel in distress, so I ordered my crew to bring you here right away. Nice that you're up and about. I'll trust you'll make yourself at home. You're perfectly safe here, I assure you. Where am I? Good question. This here is the where my trusty crew and I have set up camp. From here, we scour the paragons for the precious treasures. Now, I should explain that these islands are legendary for being absolutely chock full of treasure. We've traveled a long way to get here, and we're not planning on leaving before we've got a pause on every last bit of it. There's nothing quite like treasure. It's what a pirate lives for. To that end, we the Thunderous Plunderers have selected the vest. The very spot to pitch camp while we strip the land of its riches. Play your cards right, my girl, and I may even sit. He fit the share scrap, a scrap of our soil with you. What the? Mia hasn't got time to think about everything. Admiral Whisker, Admiral Mosgro, but Monksworth told her she needs to find Eric. Guess I better look around first. Now let me just get straight ahead. You don't need that no more. Heal pellet. Huh, okay. Admiral Mogler's newest recruit just woke, just woken up. This is seriously shady. We need to sound the alarm. Shady. What's wrong with you, Shady? You just told me this a moment ago. Thanks, Shambles. Minutes. Blah. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Thanks, Shambles. Sorry, I know I can be a bit of a dim sometimes. Now then, your Admiral Magsworth's new favorite seems. He's not usually so quick to take a shine to someone, you know. How'd you manage to whittle your way into the affections? His affections while you were fast asleep is beyond me. Anyway, you're up and about now. It seems I have a sneaking suspicion you're planning to leave this camp, aren't you? Guess I am. I knew it. Straight all over your face. What? You've lost your brother. That's dark. I wish I could help you find him, but we're under strict orders from Admiral Mas Mogsworth not to let you wander off. I've got an idea, if you're willing to help us out, perhaps we might reconsider our strict no leaving the camp policy. The other day, Shady buried some treasure around here s to stop anyone else from getting it, but then he promptly forgot where he put it. <laughs>
<laughs> that is a mood sometimes, actually. But if you can find that treasure and bring it to us, we might just consider letting you slip out of the camp. How is she meant to find it, Shambles? We don't even know where it is. It's not fair to... Of course it's not fair. Oh, it's impossible. That's the whole point. We're not supposed to let her pass, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, let's get it over with again. Shall we? Shady's buried some treasure somewhere in the camp. Your job is to find it. <laughs> yeah, and if you do, we'll let you through. No questions asked. Definitely for sure. Not a shadow of a doubt. Honest. <laughs> I don't trust the moving shadow with some bacon. A few moments later. Hmm. Restless heart. Hi, here she comes. Well, did you find her treasure? You actually did it? You found our treasure? The restless heart? But how? How did you know where I buried it? I'm not telling you. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd manage it, but you proved me wrong. It's a pleasant surprise. Now, if you'd be so kind, I do believe the restless heart belongs to us. Hey, yo, wait! I wouldn't exactly say I handed it to him. My treasure, beautiful, isn't it? Seriously? My words exactly. This is really brightening up my mood. Now, we are monsters of our word. You are hereby officially free to explore the big, bad world outside. Off you go. Alright, alright, just because I feel generous, you have got to hands on the pebbles in this old map. Here you go. Just take it. Hmm. Powder noggin, that's how it's pronounced. I am stupid. There are all sorts of wild monsters out there, so be careful and don't say we didn't warn you. A great slam and then some. It's on. She says, "Swap it out." Okay, so I can combo with X and dodge. Oh, sorry. Combo with Y, dodge with X. Dodge with X feels so weird. There you are. There you are, my favorite little treasure hunter. I've been searching for you everywhere. What's Is it this? I'm trying to take down a Dracky ball, are you? That's quite a big axe for someone your age, you know. But you don't need to do it all by yourself now that you've got a monster to help you. I would fight alongside you in this battle. We'll start to look for a lot of winnable. More of the Make it a, a lot more winnable. Blah, 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 blah. I'm done. I'm done. You may feel a little overwhelmed at first, but try not to worry. Every battle will be both you and your monsters stronger. Monster friend of God. I'm leaving this to you. Take 
Radio. And I shot it with a couple slingshot bolts. I am okay with this. That slurping is going to get on my nerves. I see this now. You did it. Some fine fighting, but don't stop there. If you want to get stronger, you have to take part in plenty more battles. Oh. Oh, but where are my manners? Haven't we been formally introduced? My name is Porcus. I'm not going to even respond to that name. Again with these Super Smash Bros. intros. Now. I am pleased to see that you're still in the possession of the Dragon Dagger. Those daggers are extremely powerful and will allow you to do all sorts of extraordinary things. For instance. You will receive visions of the treasures that monsters can sense nearby. But that's not all. By expanding expanding some of your magic power, you'll be able to heal yourself. Not bad, eh? What's more, the power of the two daggers is combined. Well, wondrous things can happen. Hold on. What happened to the blue haired boy who pulled the other one? Uh listen. What? You got separated, and he's your brother, you say. Well, that's not good at all. Don't worry too much. You should have this new feline friend to keep him company. Still, we shouldn't leave them on their own devices for too long. Let's see if we can track them down. I think I might actually tr do a second video of this. I'm not going to make this into a series, but I might come back to it later. You know, just to try it out. But yeah, take it easy, guys. Hey, thanks again for sticking around all the way to the end of the video. It really does help. If you want updates on future videos and stuff like that, links down in my description where it tells you about my Twitter as well as my Discord. If you want to see anything else from me, here is a playlist of the most recent series that I've finished, and this right here is the most recent video that I've done too. Take care.